If you already couldn't tell, today we are going to make a three jaw chuck fixture. Basically, this is just a fixture to hold the old three jaw chuck that I had that had the R8 shank on the end of it so it would fit up in the spindle. So I don't want to use that chuck to mill turn anymore. I don't want to mill turn on this machine anymore for a few obvious reasons. It throws off the spindle alignment. So now I'm just going to reuse this three jaw chuck and basically mount it on the table instead and use it as a fixture that way. Finished up the three jaw chuck fixture and it works great, just like I thought it would. The little studs I had for the T-slots were a little bit too long so I found some half 13 bolts that I used previously and they were short enough and I just put those right in the T-slot nuts. As for this guy right here, this is the three jaw chuck wrench. This is what tightens the jaws down on the three jaw chuck. And the problem is, this part right here, it's too wide. So whenever I go to move the three jaw chuck over to where the vise is, I won't be able to use this because I won't be able to turn it because this little guy right here is too low to the table. So these things would hit the table when I go to tighten it down. So I will probably weld some type of extension on this, I would imagine at some point, just so I can get leverage on it while being like way off the table. So something like that, that'll probably work. But I really wanted this for future ideas. And one is coming up, it's sort of a secret. So you'll just have to wait and see for that. It'll probably be a couple different parts, just because it might take longer than I think to machine. Maybe not, but we'll see. But I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.